oh my goodness, let's get this over with. I want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing quite like fry bread. Oh, and it is the simplest thing. There yeah. are literally five ingredients, and we will put them up on the on the screen for you. You dry whisk together some flour and and uh, salt and, and baking powder. Yeah, and if you don't, we I used uh, some sour cream that I had in the fridge, but you can use water yep. and olive oil. That seems to make the big difference, or bear, bear fat. Yes, if you can get rendered bear fat, that's wonderful. From, yeah. a, from a fall bear. From a fall bear. Yes. <laughs> Let's just be explicit about that. Yeah. Who dend on the north side of the ridge. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to have to tell all the people what, what it is that we're doing today and why we've invited them to come along on this show today. Well, we just thought we'd share just a little wee bit of one of our favorite recipes. Uh, we love to have it with some butter. And what do you like? What else do you like to put in your fry bread? Oh, well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't tell you because I'll probably drool. But <laughs> Roger's golden syrup. I'm not sure that there's another thing on the planet that's maybe as bad for you as that. But I'm not even sure it's available outside of Canada. <laughs> I don't know, but it's very, very good on Friday. We, we get to enjoy it with our, our Old Smokes coffee. Our it old is smokes. a wonderful, this is a, a wonderful breakfast that we do quite often over the trap line. Absolutely, we do. Yeah. yeah. But today we're chasing muskrats. And we had a really neat situation happen one of the ponds this year where the water was so high <laughs> and it ended up floating all of the cattails. <laughs> It was an unusual situation. Uh, we, we couldn't. The captain of the ship couldn't, <laughs> couldn't keep the good ship Hesperus out of the weeds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it, it led to a lot of laughs and funs, but the best story was what didn't even show up on. I couldn't film it because we were both working hard to get us out of the. We have this one little trench through the, through the cattails there that, that we call the canal. And it was actually a beaver canal. At one point. But the, the wind blowing so hard and then the water being so high, the cattails were floating around, big clumps of cattails. Even changed how we had to trap, you'll see that. But uh, it blew clumps of cattails into our canal, plugging it off. <laughs> so you'll see <laughs> so, how the captain remedied that situation. <laughs> well, we did, didn't, didn't get to film any of it because you were busy paddling and I was busy exhorting you on. <laughs> And it's a good thing the wind was blown in the opposite direction because he might have heard what I was saying. Well, I threw the anchor up on top of the floating clumps of cattails and had her paddle really hard and fast. Yeah. We had some slack in the, in the anchor chain and <laughs> yeah. we got them out of there. It's a good thing I don't have eyes in the back of my head, contrary to what my children believe. <laughs> it's a good one. Stay tuned. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions. The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. These, uh, these floating cattail things are causing us issues. The wind howling like it's howling, it's blowing them all over the place, you know? And that one, we just about didn't find this. It was hidden underneath it, right? I guess I really should have counted yesterday how many I put up, shouldn't I have? Yeah, I think that's 22. Okay. So 
So what is with you and wind? Huh? You're the heck not me. It is you. Every time it is time to go set muskrat traps and you come along, the wind blows and blows. So here's the new secret this year. Pops off of our carrots out of our garden. They love carrots. Will they love the tops? I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Trying to set up a wind block here. Yeah, you're doing. You're pretty. You're pretty slick. You're. You're inventive. You're inventive. Look at the big old muskrat house you're next to there, huh? I'm standing just about right on top of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we gave up and set one right in the channel because it was just the wind was blowing so hard. Yeah. And, and what do we got? The sun is right behind you. Is it? We got anything? I do. Oh. Nice big one. First one. Yeah. Good deal. And I noticed that all the uh, other carrots are gone too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, his. We we'll kind of set this one in a flash hurry last night. It was bad. Well, it's the last one. And there really wasn't another place to set it. The wind has been so just, poor. Just so, brutal. Yeah. Anyway, then, we, then we've got this clump of floating. I'm going to try and pull it out of the way, okay? Okay. I'll tie on to it, and when I tell you paddle, you get at her. Uh-huh. <laughs> so no? That's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> no? No. I don't see that catching on. Okay, well, I'll help paddle, too. What a good idea. Okay, let's right, get up there and give on. it a try. The water was so deep here, I put a, an extra pole in. Because the, the four foot lath was barely sticking out. You get these waves popping up and down and it's bad. Let me just get us in here a little bit more. We've got a funny thing happening this year. And I, I, I never seen it before but our water is so high here's a double our water is so high that these clumps of cattails are breaking loose from the shore and drifting everywhere and we've had them go over top of uh, over top of our, our sets I've never had it happen before because usually this time of the year you know even if you had high water all year long it, it, it uh, settles back right One. Come on. Lots of doubles. I like that. That's the thing about a about a float, man. When you got lots and lots of rats around. Doubles happen, and that's uh, that's so much more productive than just a single, right? Because now, if I'd have had just a single there, and I'd, I'd have got one, and the other one would have got a freebie. There's probably more that got freebies anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm, there is, no question. I wonder if this is, if I get shallow enough here, or look at that, huh? Yeah, very deep here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. Five foot poles. Yeah, five foot poles. Yeah. We got a few teeth on the on the. Uh... Oh yeah, there he is. Maybe it was his buddy. <laughs> I don't know. Standing on his head. Yeah, maybe. That kind of buddy. That kind of buddy. Do we have buddies like that, sir? I don't think so. <laughs> we have good friends. Not people. Not not buddies that'll step on our head to get a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> they won't help lift you up to get the carrot. <laughs> I'm not sure if they would do that, but they would definitely not step on our heads to get the carrot. <laughs> there we go. 
Strapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. At Old Smokes Coffee, we slow roast our coffee over a fire, making it smooth and memorable. You can order our smoked coffee online. Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. Halford Hides, unique beyond compare. Everything for the outdoors. You can shop in person or online from our vast catalog. Range Road Enterprises understands hard work. Our products work as hard as you do. See our full line of firewood processors, sawmills, and more at your nearest dealer. We hunt and trap with our Zeiss Conquest V4 and V6 rifle scopes and the new line of rings. Carl Zeiss Sport Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. Oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. Nice one. Nice one. So I started setting my traps a little deeper in the water. I think, I don't want to say too much. That's right. I don't want to jinx it now. <laughs> what does that old cougar hunter tell us? This is the only thing you know for sure for dogs, if they're alive, they can embarrass you. Yeah. So I don't want to. They can make a liar out of you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to claim that I, I that I knew exactly what I was doing here, or that is the answer. But we had a run here yesterday where we had carrots gone and and. Uh, and nothing on the trap. Yeah. So I think maybe I had to set my traps a little deeper, like set in the water deeper. Not so much the. Um, look, you can see where they've been eating there. Hey. Yeah. See the stuff they've been chewing? It's not so much the um, the distance here, but how how much how far the trap is underwater. Yeah. So then they crawl forward even more to try and uh, you know reach up, step up and, and reach that. Lots of uh, lots of sign here. Lots of sign, yeah. Well this one I'm not sure if you can really see it, so I'll try and get in here a little closer, but um, the trap is flipped up down there. But our, something ran over our, our pole. Yeah. Is what happened. Yeah, it was probably and it's this stuff, floating stuff. Floating stuff. And, and I think what's going on is the fact that the water is so high. Usually, you know, I mean, we have lots of years where we have lots of water, lots of, uh, of high water and that. But what has happened is this year it, it has stayed right through and you know to, into October here, and so all these cattails around the edges are floating and they're they're starting to break break loose and, and uh, float away. Well, they're running over, <laughs> running over our set. Well, darn it. Yeah. So I'm not. I don't even know if we, if we found this one yesterday. Yeah, I'm not sure. Couldn't say for sure. But there he is underwater. Move the carrot up. Lots and lots of rat sign. Look at that, huh? Oh yeah. Look, look back in there. See where they're chewing on the alongside the, the cattails there. Yeah. Should be a rat coming around here. Well, I'm sure there is. Oh my goodness! Oh, he's a booner. There's a mac daddy. There is a mac daddy. Managed to uh, trip both of them. Yeah. It's just something so much nicer about setting the uh, the long springs. <laughs> Good thing I had the, the, the big long uh, pole on this one. Yeah. Otherwise she'd be floating. Excuse me. There we go. Set two here and one broke loose. Yeah. In the wave action. Throw out the big old anchor. Yeah, what do we got here? Try not to paddle away without, without yeah. bringing it in this time. Hey, you had us moving. You were dragging the anchor at one point there. Lots of steam there, girl. <laughs> had my Wheaties this morning. Yeah. There we go. I like Ooh. that. Yeah. Double layer. What have we got over here? Even though it's floating. Ah, that's the 
kind of pickup you like to make, huh? Yeah, three for four. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Driving Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo Extreme Terrain Vehicles conquer any season, any terrain. See all the new models at your newest dealer. Argo, go anywhere. Southland Trailer Corporation makes the Royal Cargo Trailer used by Trapping Inc. Southland Trailer, behind you all the way. Midland Radio helps you stay in touch in the wild. Check out the new X-Talkers at your nearest dealer. Communication for every adventure. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Do you want even more Trapping Inc.? Our private community is where you will find all our exclusive videos, articles, and podcasts. Everything's bouncing up and down at once. I'm just trying to get my job done. <laughs> so that's it. That's the last at the end of the day here. Let me uh, get these set back into place. these green too I wonder is that because of the of, of the floats and them being buried in weeds I don't know I could also set traps on these things because they, they're, they're floating and the, and the water's deep beside them right yeah but I don't know if that's going to be here tomorrow <laughs> be at the other end of the lake. That's exactly it. Could very well be at the other end of the lake. We got one sprung here. Yep. And uh, one down. Let's see what we got. Oh. There we go. A front foot catch. So he probably also sprung the other one then when he was flailing around. I don't like front foot catches like that. You know, I like them on, I like them on the on the small traps, mm -hmm. like on the uh, the coil spring, because on a front foot catch they can't climb the the chain, right? Yeah. But uh, the wind is still. Oh. I know. Today, <laughs> the cross. We call it the crossing. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's it like when you cross the Atlantic Ocean and the waves are big. It, c it could it could be a Stephen King type thing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that, they ate all of the uh, the greenery off of here, huh? Oh yeah, very cool. That's nice, that is. Or they took it anyway, I don't know. Oh, they'll have, they'll have ate it, I'm sure. They're, you know, they're diving down and pulling up the uh, uh, the coontail and all that, right? Uh -huh. So I'm sure that they would be doing the same thing with, uh, with this. Okay. So it's fresh greenery. There we go. Okay, on to Look the at next this. One. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's been yeah. bit on, huh? Bit gnawed on. That's what Here, you got to oh. do, though. You got to you gotta keep uh, keep control of the population, or they, they, they do so much damage to one another.
Well, holy cow. We about left uh, the traps out one night too long. <laughs> well, I got the last muskrat of, uh, of the fall season for 2019 here, and that is perfect. Well, I hope you had as much fun watching the show today as we had bringing it to you, and maybe we'll see you down the line.